Alright, so let's take a look at what else we can change. We've got our Android make file here, and uh, we need to change this reference to the L5510, and we're going to make it the life XL right here. And so it's going to call all the make files under this local path for the life XL, which, uh, which is pretty handy, because that's obviously what we want to do. We want to make this stuff. So let's take a look at our board config. Uh, we see the device uh, path right here is device Hawaii L5510, and uh, we actually um, are not using that. We're using device blue life XL. And obviously, if you're doing this for your phone, it's just going to be whatever the path that you made for your phone. You're you're making it, but the general rule of thumb is uh, the device with the um, manufacturer with the um, model of the phone as the name. So now the board platform, we know that we have an 8916 Snapdragon 410 and it has a Qualcomm Arduino 306. So this is true. We don't have to worry about changing that. Um, the bootloader board name right here is 8916 so that is true that can stay the same architecture we have arm it's a uh, neon compatible uh, it's arm eabi version 7a a53 cortex v7a neon cpu smp is true and uh, have tls register is true all of that is still true so that that can just stay um, how do I know all that is true? You're probably wondering that. Um, for one, if you don't know for sure, uh, research, 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 research. Uh, we talked about that in research, but if you recall, we made that video um, of us using the device hardware info, and that video, we can go back and look, and we'll see that it's a Cortex-A53. We'll see that it's an ARM EAB I, uh, V7A, and so you can grab those things right off of that. That's why that device info HW application was so handy, and I truly highly recommend it. So all of that is true. All of that is good. Um, so then we get down into a few other things. So we have this init where it is um, initializing the vendor libraries, and it's a libinit. L5510. So what I want to do is everything down here, we're going to comment out until we actually look at it to make sure that it either does apply or is proper for what we want to do. So just take me a second here to comment all of these out. Another way is instead of commenting it out, you could actually um, you know, just uh, just have uh, deleted that portion, maybe had the file backed up somewhere else, and then copied it over. So we'll save our file just like this, and let's look at the team win recovery uh, portion here. So um, device resolution 720 by 1280. That is the resolution of our phone, so that's perfect. Uh, uses Qualcomm BSP false. So this, um, if you don't know the answer to these, again, you're going to come down to research, 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 uh, or you can use trial and error. And uh, research is definitely the better way to go. But since these phones are identical uh, phones, I think that this portion is going to be correct. But, uh, you know, things like including cryptography, you can definitely say false if you don't want crypto uh, in, in the working of your team and recovery project and that sort of thing. Um, so I think all this team and recovery project stuff down here, this is, I think, solid gold and that's going to work out really, really good. So now we look at this recovery section. So in our folder here, we have this recovery, we have root, and then we have um, some inits and uh, if we look under ETC, we'll see this FS tab QCOM. And if you recall from our video from uh, Building Device Tree from Scratch for the Blocks 2, uh, you can actually pull this straight off of the phone itself. Um, 
and you definitely want to check to make sure everything is in the right place because you when you're booting these you want to make sure that they actually get booted properly but what's really great is they're using um, device block boot device by name uh, and then the name of the thing that it's booting so as long as you have all these partitions in your by name folder then all of these are going to boot properly um, so this actually is is really going to be quite all right uh, leaving this just as it is. It does have USB out the go cable which you could remove if you didn't want to have that especially for your team win recovery project but it might be really useful to be able to plug in um, an out, out on the go cable and, uh, and a hard drive and, and backing up things that way. And then uh, the external SD that's going to be the SD card that's removable that's uh, block one partition one um, that is uh, really handy because remember that we had block zero was our first device is actually this whole device up here that we saw in our previous videos so block one would be the next device the second device and that would be the um, that removable SD card so this is really handy to have in there so you can back up things as well but once again we can look back through our video and make sure that all of these are the proper names for the proper place for the um, partitions that are on our um, phone. In fact, actually, I can just bring it up right quick. And so if we go to our device and we change into block, and then we see we have um, boot device is a folder, so CD boot device right there. Now notice it changes here to be the 7824900.sdhci and we could we could uh, change that directly to say device block platform and etc and be the actual partition names instead of the by name but uh, this this works as well. CD by name and we can see all of our by name devices in there. So uh, you could copy and paste all of this and change it instead of being device block boot device um, by name to be this block device block platform, the number by name, and then it as well. Or you could actually change it to be the uh, the actual partitions themselves. If we look at this with ls lah, it'll show which partition that is by number and so you could just put them all in there um, by number if you want to be very very precise but uh, since the kernel handles naming them um, you know uh, or setting this setting up this path rather not naming them but setting up this path uh, this is going to work out uh, just fine for us so we're going to just leave them the way they are that should be good um, but if you do have a problem where you're compiling your own kernel and sometimes when you compile your own kernel it may change this path ever so slightly and you might want to uh, you know boot it and then check the path specifically to make sure you get this um, MMC BLK 0 P9 if you actually use the direct device block and then that that number that portion really can't change so that will always be correct so if you're worried about your kernel not booting this might be a good place to look as well so we uh, we can check those and make sure those are all um, appropriate so we have let's see we have TZ and then we have HYP It's, we have HYP right here, um, SBL1 and RPM. So SBL1, and then we have RPM right here. We have A boot and splash, A boot, and we have splash, and we have modem, modem right here. And so we would just go through and check all these. I'm gonna I'm gonna spare you the 
detail of me going through each one. Uh, and then you have the flags for that device. And so these flags are probably going to be OK since these are nearly identical phones um, with the same, uh, essentially the same system on a chip and the same uh, amount of space on them. Um, so these flags should be good. But you can always check these flags to make sure they're appropriate. Uh, if you're not sure what flags to use, research is your friend. So um, once again, it's really great using a device tree from something else as a guide to help you know uh, what things should look like and what what uh, they will be. So we're going to finish uh, going through here real quick. All right, done checking those out, and uh, now um, we're we're ready to move on here. So we know that this FS tab is good. We know that we can use the EXT4 and the FS2. F2FS file system. Now that you notice in our Team Win Recovery Project FS tab, um, we have ext4 and we do not have the F F2FS. So if you don't want to use it, you can say no, I don't want to use it because nothing in my FS tab is actually using it. So there's no reason to have it. Uh, if you don't want it, but uh, it's certainly a good uh, feature to include in the future as well. So we're going to take that out because we don't have anything in our tree that is using it, um, just to make things easier when we're building, make things smaller when we're done, but that definitely a good feature to include into yours as well. So then we need to find um, our partition sizes and uh, set up all of our partitions. Now these had the exact same um, size of partitions and everything, so we can probably just use the ones that are in here, but the best thing to do is go ahead and look at that video recording we had made and get all of the right sizes from there. So let me bring that up real quick. All right, so we bring up that video, and then we can see the size of things like the, uh, the boot uh, partition size being this to uh, zero, zero, zeros and all that there. And then we can take a look at what we have here and we see that it does in fact match. Now notice there is a slight, what you might consider a discrepancy of the number of zeros at the front. Um, this is okay, it's just a different way of the notation um, here. It's going to end up being the same actual uh, size here. So those are good. Um, and uh, I was able to check through these and take a look at them and these are good as well. So, um, and the flash block size we can get from there as well and that it is an EXT4 board. So all of that turned out to be uh, perfectly appropriate since these phones have the same system on a chip and the same size of, uh, of drive on them. Um, all of that worked out really great for us. So. That just leaves our init and our kernel, and uh, I'm going to cover that in the next video because um, this one's getting a little long. And uh, we're going to look at how we can utilize our kernel that we extracted from the device as well.